Good morning everyone, it's a beautiful day. It's the 9th of November 2021. It's my 38th birthday, so happy birthday to me. And as a special treat, just going for some fresh air, going for a walk up this little hill, which is Etching Hill, just near Folkestone. Came here about a year ago with Edison. Just gonna enjoy myself and try and uh, get a bit of fresh air and uh, clear the mind and when I get to the top hopefully there'll be some nice views as well so see you in a minute so I made it to the top and it's really nice up here just uh, panoramic views Um, France is over there, just there. The Euroton of sight you can see. The trains are supplying to France regularly. I think this channel's sitting there just, just looking at it. See the bay. Kid going all the way around. Probably see Dungeness. It's actually a little bit cloudy, can't see quite see Dungeness. Stresses of the world are events ongoing. Um, I'm going to try and do some online like learning at home, course, university course. I'm struggling with that really, just to find the time. It's been a bit too much. Um, looking after Edison as well, you know, three, three and a half year old son. I was so excited this morning, giving the presents, you know, help with the decorations, putting a couple of balloons and things up, which is really nice. I love playing football as well. are open, all of this stuff, there's no lockdown at the moment, um, whether that will change I don't know, there's certainly other countries, it's a bit windy there so I just want to this one. Going back to normal, I think America now, they've um, travelled to America for tourists, visitors from other countries, uh, it's open again provided they're uh, fully vaccinated, which I think is two jabs. Currently, it might be free in the future. In Austria, I read there's some kind of a segregation happening where people who aren't vaccinated won't be allowed into the restaurants, the cafes, and things. Over there in France, which is literally you know, it's over the water 26 miles, you know, it takes 35 minutes from the train to catch the train from down there. Crossing in Europe, France, and to go shopping centers and stuff, you need to have you know, these COVID passes. I think it's at least the same. We're talking here in the UK about having about vaccinating all the NHS staff by March next year. It's the same really for care staff. 
so there might be a shortage or of, I think there already was in the care industry because a lot of the labour came from you know European some of the European countries European countries now it's Brexit has affected things um, and then you add on that as well vaccination point inevitably there will be some who refuse it or don't wish to have it and to me it seems obvious that the NHS will potentially put themselves at a risk of crisis again so and there'll be more lockdowns still haven't really seen Speaking to some friends the other night, and they were talking about vaccines, and, and I expressed some concerns. And I said, you know, generally, the people, you know, now since about January, and we're November now, so we haven't really gone through a year of testing, we haven't really gone through the flu season, we've only just knocked back and forward, whatever it is, uh, hitting the side of the again. We haven't gone through the winter yet, so we don't really know how well it's going to be. such a massive experiment so personally that's how I see it um, I've got some concerns um, um, personally I suppose um, Becky my wife she's booked it for next week um, I'm not particularly happy with that a bit powerless I, um, I can't think of many people who I know like in my life who haven't had it there's one probably at work but I think that's a medical exemption um, I feel a little bit lonely lonely yeah one of the only ones really just looking over there it's you see the Euro Tunnel site post just a little bit of a respite here just on the other side of the hill you see the cows English countryside the uh, uh, North Downs Way. Not so windy here either. So it's interesting. Um, just thinking about COVID. I mean, there's so much lingering which is going on with it. It's obviously been a massive, massive thing. I think in history books we're going to be looking at it for years to come. Um, you know, it's obviously a massive event. Um, economy kind of trashed. As a result of all these kind of vaccinations and things, you've had supply chains, so things like skilled workers, um, you know, particularly with Brexit and all the other stuff going on. Um, I haven't explained it very well, but basically, you know, skilled workers being told they can't work for whatever reasons, it's going to have impacts, and it's going to take a while maybe for them to bear out and come through. But it could be concerning times. So what can you do about it? What can I do about it? I can do absolutely... It feels like I can do nothing. But what... I've been speaking to myself, speaking to the camera here. I can work on myself. I can stay calm, stay positive, give love. Be positive, be smart, sensible, do what I can. Invest, have the right things, be prepared care for my family, make the most of the moment, that's what I have to do. But, gee, sometimes it's hard, but like I say, um, you know, try and make the most of it, today's my birthday, and up here, apart from cars and things, I can't, I can't see, there's not a person in sight, I can't see anyone around, my car's down there somewhere. And up here, it doesn't exist, there's no Covid, it doesn't exist. So the world's kind of, kind of back to normal, hopefully that will continue. And, uh, the segregation which I've talked about before between vaccinated and unvaccinated hopefully won't happen in this country. It does seem to be slower here than in other countries, but it does seem to be the way that uh, things are going. But, For long enough, nine minutes here. I'm just looking at, so it's far too long. See you all soon. Take care.